In 2013, as a build-up to the 2015 general elections, four major political parties out of about 50 political parties in the country merged as a political party with the name All Progressive Congress, which is the APC. The parties, APP, ACN, CPC, and APCA, said they had formed the All Progressive Congress party because of the need for radical change, um, which was much more urgent for them at the time. Now, as preparations are in force for the 2023 general elections, um, opposition political groups and some other stakeholders have regrouped under the aegis of the National Consultative Front, which is the NCF, to displace the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, and the PDP. To discuss this with me is the National Chairman of the National Conscience Party and Spokesperson of the National Consultative Front, Dr. Tanko Yunusa. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Thank you very much for having me. Good evening, Nigerians. Yeah. So first thing that comes to the mind of every Nigerian is a new merger. Um, what else is new? But I will ask the question nicely. So uh, what makes this me mega party um, or this consultative front different from what we've had over the years? I mean, we have the APC still in power, and of course, we can feel the type of change that they brought to us, Nigerians are still complaining about it. Um, so they made us a lot of promises. They still haven't been able to meet some of those promises, in fact, if any. Uh, and this is five years into the administration. So what are you bringing to the table? OK, thank you very much. And quickly, let me make some correction. Um, we've not gotten to the point of saying a major issue of a party. What we are talking about is a movement. You could recall that the NC Front started this particular discussion and consultation nationwide. For, all, for some years now, we've been on a platform. But we thought it's, it's time now for us to really come out and galvanize Nigerians. You will agree with me also, there are so many platforms agitating for change. Political parties on platform, intellectuals on platform, youths who have metamorphosed into even a very aggressive challenge to the NSAS movement, all of them too are on the platform. The NCS too is on the platform. So what we intend to do is to mobilize these Nigerians who, have, who believe that there's a need for a radical change from the past to a new beginning that listen to the yearning and aspiration of Nigerians. So what is new here is that we are ready to listen, to mobilize people towards a, a kind of a critical mass cost for a movement that can be very much acceptable by Nigerians. And i.e., that is why the first launching of what we did was to mobilize um, like um, lawyers, intellectuals, into the uh, citizens' conference who, which they will discuss the issue of a national restructuring of Nigeria. And that particular committee is being led by our revered lawyer, constitutional lawyer, Olisa Abakoba, and supported in the secretariat by an erudite former secretary of INEC, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, to discuss the issue of constitutional reform that every Nigerian will be part of. And the, the other committee that was set up was to look at the issue of merging all of these groups together to agree on a template. Don't forget that this particular National Consultative Front consists of political parties close to about 20, but they are not the only one on the platform. And each of them have a different ideology and belief. There must be an agreement. The committee is to, to look at the possibility of those who may want to match and those who will come into alliance and mobilize Nigerians into a critical mass. Dislodging APC or PDP is not an easy, it's not a cupcake. Okay. It must be done in such a way that every Nigerian believe in it and mobilize towards it so that we can have a document that is acceptable by Nigerians, that is workable. Because I know a lot, the issue that you raised, Abi Nisho, was that, yes, there have been murders and all. What has it brought to Nigerians? Obviously, that, uh, what, has brought, what it has brought has not been acceptable. So definitely, this time around, 
it must be a document that they are, the people agree to that we are going to work with. So wherever we come to, when we get to that particular bridge, we will cross it. But at the moment now, what we are doing is that we are mobilizing Nigerians towards believing in this cause that, look, there's a, there's a time now for us to have a critical mass that will do the yearning and aspiration of the Nigerian people. Okay. That is what we are doing. I'm going to ask my question again. What is the end Please. game? Are you trying to get a political party, float a new one? Because you keep saying when you get to that bridge, you'll cross it. What is the end game? Where, I mean, you're mobilizing people, the yes, from all. What, what are you targeting at the end of the day? Because 2023 is obviously on your radar. To get a people's government. The end game, of course, is to get a people's government. In what way? A platform. Yeah, we all want a people's government, but how do you intend to give that to us? Just mobilizing course, is not enough. By this, particular, by this particular mobilization and agreeing possibly on a political party that is existing or getting a, a, a new movement that is agreeable by the people, that is the reason why the committee is being set up to look at the possibility of what can be done. So it's not for me to say until when the committee meets and agree on what is possible to be done for the Nigerian people. So agree on a political party that maybe is existing or maybe you float a new one. What political party that is existing right now, aside from the APC and PDP, can you merge with that would stand a chance? And I'm not in any way saying that the PDP no, that or the APC is special or powerful. I'm just asking, you know. I will be preempting the work of the committee. You have to allow the committee to distill and discuss with all the political parties that is within that particular group. Like I said, there are intellectuals, there are doctors, there are businessmen, there are almost every facet of this country, the youth and the persons with disability, all of them belong, they are part of this particular movement. So and until when this group meets and discuss, then we will agree on the position. But most importantly, you must know what we are doing is that we are talking about also the constitutional and restructuring of Nigeria, which take precedent because to a lot of issues that have been bedeviling the country need to be taken care of from the constitutional reform that is going to be that has been led by um, uh, Dr. Ulisa Abakoba and Dr. Hakim Babahame. Okay. Let's move on to the communique that was released um, the other day. I'd like to quote directly from that communique of Tuesday, March 9th, 2021. Uh, one of the mandates of this merger is to mobilize massive resistance to national elections without a brand new people's um, constitution, biometrics, accreditation, electronic, and diaspora voting. So how do you intend, sir, to achieve all of this? Because these are okay. issues that now, have been on, what, on the public fora and, and they have had conversations on this in year in, year out, but we've never really arrived at any conclusion. So how do you intend to follow this conversation and get exactly. something out of it? Exactly. Exactly. You know, there are a lot of people who have been part of most of the constitutional reform that have taken place in the past. And now we are trying to involve the use of technology to have the views of almost all Nigerians and the persons in disability uh, in, in, in diaspora. That way, there's a technology we will use that will open up the space. People will follow the discussion that is taking place and make contributions. We don't want to say this is what we feel. No, we want the people to, to really feel, want to feel the pulse of the people. Let them come out and speak their minds and say this is how we want our Nigeria to look like. And once this particular document is being developed by the responsibility, by the responsibility given to Dr. Ulisa Agbakoba and Baba Hakim and his team, they will be able to come up with documents consisting of all the other documents that have been done in the past, bringing it, dusting it into a new document that will be presented to Nigerians and at the same time presented to members of the National Assembly possibly so that they can pass it into law. Where they do not, of course, we will have to go all en masse to demand that this is a document that has been agreeable by majority of Nigerians and they must listen to us. After all, they are there to represent our own interests. 
So are you suggesting that, because, I mean, I'm beginning to, I, 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 and I don't want to preempt the National Assembly, of course, there are several petitions and papers that have been raised that are still at the National Assembly, and they've not really debated on it. So I'm wondering, um, if they do not, and I'm saying if, are you proposing that we protest, because you said we will go out en masse, are you proposing that we protest to the National Assembly again? It, 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 it would not. It is within our legal right as human rights. May I remind you what happened team. on October 20 of 2020? May I remind you what happened in January of 2021? Are you still sure that that would be a good idea? And I'm not in any way saying that we do not have a right no. to protest, but would you not be... Look... Would it not end the way that it ended in October? Please. How certain are okay, you that you there will not be a police statement saying that you cannot go out to protest because you're disturbing the peace? Okay, now, it is important for you to understand there are legal means in which we can demand for our rights. We have the courts. We can go on the street if we so desire. We can also agitate. This is all within our legal. So we will look at best options that will not end up the way the NSAS did, that will bring out a civilized way of demanding for the rights of the citizens. These are some of the things that we can do. And don't forget, like I told you, the kind of quality of people that are on the platform is not like um, people who are not well educated. We are talking about sons, those who have gone to the four corners of the universities. They know what they can propose, that we can make sure that all of our agitation get to the right channel and the demand is being listened to by the Nigerian government. Um well, it was also mentioned in the communique that um, you'll be consulting with the former INEC chairman. Um, uh, you would also be consulting with NSERS, youth leaders. Um, and you have explained to us that these are people who are bringing their concerns to the table. So, who are the people in the forefront of this? If we were to say, let's finger Mr. A, B, C, D, and the, as these are the notable faces that you're saying um, are representing this front. Can you name some of them? Uh, what? Apart the from, apart from, the uh, forum uh, yes, is, is uh, Professor Pat Utomi, followed by Gali Umar Naamba, former Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives, and you have uh, Dosumu Awolowo. Uh, you have political parties ranges up to about twenty of them in different uh, 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 groups. You have uh, intellectuals and lawyers, just like I mentioned, Dr. Ulusa Abakoba, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed. I mentioned uh, 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 people like when you just mentioned Jega. In fact, yesterday I was just talking with him. He is practically interested in the citizen conference that will midwife a trans and transform Nigeria into a document that is acceptable by all. That's to show you there are commitments by this very erudite Nigerian leaders who have served and all of us are ready to give our best in order to make Nigeria safe and acceptable to the Nigerian people. These are names of people who have proven themselves in the domain of leadership when they are given opportunity to. And they have already come out in large number to say this is what they think Nigerians want. You could agree with me that Nigeria has been agitating for a long time for a restructuring, and we intend to give this a very good shot back in our democratic setting. Well, I want to say thank you very much, Dr. Yunusat, for speaking with us. We appreciate it. God bless you, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. All right. Well, we'll take a short break, and when we come back, I'll be giving you my take. Stay with us. Here's my take. The unending cycle of insecurity and terrorism in Nigeria, which has spread and metamorphosed into banditry and kidnapping and outright killing of innocent Nigerians, has again resurfaced on our headlines, screaming for our attention. Our states and federal governments promised us that this will be a thing of the past in no time. But here we are again. I sometimes really wonder if maybe the media gives too much attention and a face to these terrorists 
by always talking about them and making reference to the activities. So I wonder, can we reduce their coverage? Will it lessen the powers that they have? Now, on the part of government and security agencies, more pressure and action needs to be seen uh, to let these terrorists know that it's not going to be business as usual. And for the new merger, it's that season where politicians are aligning and realigning for different reasons and interests, coming up with the most interesting and sometimes very catchy rhetorics to capture the votes and support of Nigerians. But we must query them. We have suffered too many times at the hands of these promise and fail politicians. We can no longer just take their words for it, can we? We must seek the antecedents of these politicians, whether men or women. We must track their progress, their character, their sincerity levels before we get in the same boat with them. So be wise. I am Mary Anacom, thanking you for watching. Do have a good evening.